At 24, this bright mining engineer signed up for a 100-kilometre outback marathon. This is Taria on the course in September 2011. She's powering through the Kimberley. But just a few hours later, she'd be fighting for her life after being trapped in a raging bushfire. She was literally cooked. I've not had a patient with such a deep burn survive. Not. Ever. Ever. I was running, looking down at the ground, exhausted. And then I remember looking up and just being faced with this wall of flames. When the fire finally caught me, I just remember looking down at my hands and arms and, you know, they were both ablaze. After the fire had passed, I got this huge rush of elation because I was alive and for some reason I thought about work and how this would make a great discussion point at our weekly safety meetings. <laughs> No, hospital, that was where the real work began. I had physiotherapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy every day and all of that stuff hurt so much but it was nothing in comparison to my daily bandage changes. Well, one of the consequences of the fire was that my elbows had ossified and ossified just means I was stuck could bend them around this far in the beginning. And if you can't bend your elbows, you can't wash your face, brush your hair, dress yourself, take yourself to the bathroom. The first time I could bend my elbow enough to feed myself, my whole family and I, we actually cried. We were all so ecstatic that I could do this simple everyday task that most of us would take for granted. I was asked to be the cover girl of the Women's Weekly a couple of months ago and I was astounded by how much media coverage I got and by how many emails I got of women and men who were writing to me every day saying, I, I hate my face, I hate my arms, I hate my legs, I hate my bum. What a waste of energy that those brilliant individuals were spending all of that time worrying about how they looked. Got nothing to do with what you see and it's got everything to do with, with what's up here. All of us here in this room, we're all so much stronger and so much more powerful than we give ourselves credit for. And all we need to do to unmask our full potential is uncover the possibilities that lie up here. I really reckon that the power of our minds, it's incredible. My doctors told my family that I would never run again and I was back running in 2012, not even a year after my accident. 